So they sold the show and then moved to the Philippines or something. I don't know. Nobody cares. You know, his beard wasn't that beautiful. I see. So what does that have to do with them? Oh, them? Well, see. They're both next in line to executive produce, but neither of them wants to co-EP. So what's going to happen now? I don't know. I can't remember the last time this has happened before. Two people wanting to be EP? Anybody wanting to EP? Ah. Can't take it anymore. We haven't finished an episode in months. One of you has to EP, or both of you do it. There's no way I'm playing second fiddle in a two-man band. Either I EP, or no one EPs. Yeah, I'm not gonna co-EP with this guy. He's, in he's incompetent. Do, do, you do you remember what he did to Vishnu last season? Hey. How was I supposed to know he's allergic to fire, okay? What? Regardless of whatever handicap he has, he's next in line too. And because neither of you are willing to take charge together, it seems we only have one choice. No. no. That's right. Oh man, this hasn't happened in years. You picked the right day to join. What? I thought you said you didn't remember. Sit up contest! Oh, you it down, oh, right? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 It was supposed to be mine. How could they do this to me? I was next in line. How is it fair that Benny's sweet abs determine his leadership superior to mine? So what if I'm not funny? Or cool? Or good looking? Or smart? And I smell bad? I'm really starting to bum myself out. It's, it's not all bad. They like me here. Who knows? Maybe Benny will let me co-EP if I work hard enough. Yeah! I can do it! For he is better than Danny, for he is better than Danny, for he is better than Danny. Which nobody can deny. Now that I'm EP, it's time to get the ball rolling. Let's crank an episode out. Oh, and the time you spent bitching with Danny, we actually filmed 13 episodes for this season. 13? But we've never even done more than six. We also shot and edited most of them together. Then what was the rush for an EP? Well, we needed to finish the credits. We couldn't just have a blank EP section. Well, are there any executively productive jobs I can take slash delegate to someone else? I mean, no one's watched any of the shorts yet. You could do that. Or you could refill the liners in the trash cans. I guess I'll watch the shorts. Here, here. Watch this. <sighs> well. That's that. What, what else do we need to do today? Well, I'm pretty sure we still need to film a couple of viewfinders. We can do that, so long as lovemaking isn't happening in the studio. Because <laughs> lovemakers, it's a show. <laughs> Meta. And then he disappeared, never to be seen again. I know, I was there. 20 minutes ago. Legend has it that he retreated deep into the first floor, just awaiting his chance to avenge his humiliation at the hands of us. Some say he travels to the Vincent scaffoldings, shrouded in a cape and mask. Where, where'd you hear that from? Oh, he wrote it in his newsletter. Yeah, it's pretty edgy stuff, but it's got comics in it. 
Like, look at that one. See, the one on the bottom is you, and the one on the top look, is Look, okay, uh, I don't, we don't have time for beautifully drawn cartoons. Like, I've got a, I've got a show to run. Are we, are we set up? Yeah, we're pretty good. Aw, uh, Punky Brewster over here. Groovy, baby. Well, all right, let's, uh, let's get this started. Camera? Rolling. Sound? Speeding. All right. Action. Welcome to Viewfinder. Today's topic is remix, specifically bad ones. So what's your least favorite remix? Probably Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street? Is it... Is it... Is it, is it bad? I mean, I, I just felt like it was... I don't know, just like, I'll never know what hit them. Didn't really have one. Danny, we, we should probably call an ambulance. No, no, we can't afford it. We, we don't have insurance. Just put them with the others. I don't know what's got Benny all hyped up. This is a pretty regular thing. Really? Might as well watch another short. That was nice. It was nice. It was okay. It was nice. Ugh! One percent. And you also, you, you did a, you worked with our old friend of the show yeah. here, Dalton Allen. Dalton Allen, yeah, no. Uh, weird thing about him is, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think it, but the, the beard tickles a lot. <laughs> it looks like that. I feel like he has that kind of beard where it's so long. This is the last straw. He got you in the bathroom? Yeah. He, wait, how do, you, how do you know that? He said he'd do it in the newsletter. What newsletter? Who's, who else is reading his newsletter? It's really edgy stuff, man. Well, does it say where he is right now? I don't know, but I think he might be on Longhorn Late Night. Mother... We've got you surrounded, Danny. You're not going anywhere. That's what you think, Burnaby. Phantom out! <laughs> you smell that? Is that. Is that toast? Danny's on fire! On the studio floor! <laughs> This looks fun.
Uh, Benny, can you come over here for a second? Yeah, we've been talking about this, and we think you two should just co EP. Are you serious? Are you you're serious? He he killed like two people, and and he gave me look what he did to me. Yeah, I know, but we might as well give him the title than have to deal with this every week. Plus, we don't really have insurance. We give him the title, he'll forget about that whole gangbang thing. Yeah, it's not like you have to let him do something. EP's just a title. <sighs> it. Fine. You you can have the job. All right, Danny. I guess you and I can co EP. Alright guys, it's 9 o'clock, time to train the volunteers. Where's Benny? Benny's late. Alright, it's 1027, so he's an hour and a half late, so he's out. Uh, what about Danny? Our EPs are useless. Uh, especially gang. He's such a tool. Exactly. I mean, thank God not everyone's like him. Imagine if everyone was as much of a prick as he is. And don't get me started on how much he smells. <laughs> exactly. But he may be late, but at least he isn't gang. Alright. We're starting without them. The scene practice, right now. You. You'll be Robert Downey Jr. Kurde, co ty ode mnie chcesz? You'll be the hooker, and you'll... What are you doing? Drinking. From a cup. That's Danny's co-EP mug. <laughs> cool. F*** Danny. He pisses in that cup. Ah, whatever. Uh, you'll be the ODing drug dealer. No. I won't! What's happened to you? There's a new sheriff in town, and his name is me. Danny and Benny's reign of terror is over. I'm the new EP! Bitch! Here! Try some! Doesn't that taste like <laughs> That's the best part!
incarnate! Benny. Yeah, listen, don't don't tell anyone. But I'm but I'm working on my on my new dance routine. But you haven't danced since the accident. I did. But now I'm trying to get back in the game. That's good for you, but the entire crew just drank out of Danny's EP mug. Ew, why? He pisses in it. I don't know, but they're all going crazy right now. I hate books because I am illiterate! Great! Now let's burn these books. Anyone got a match? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Benny, you, you can't go out there. It's too dangerous. It can't possibly be that bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's the title of that book? I don't know. I can't read. <coughs> can you can you excuse us for a second? Yeah, sure. Take time. They're all acting like Danny. Wait. Are you saying that there's an army of Dannys inside there right now? Yeah. We can't let these guys get out. The fate of the world could be at stake. Uh, hey guys. Uh, Hey, we're gonna we're gonna go check out the libraries around around campus and see if they got any more, you know, devil devil books. Great idea. All right, we have to call someone to stop them. Well, I don't have my phone. It doesn't fit in my dancing pants. All right, well, I, I guess I could just call the police. Hi, yes, we have an emergency here at... at... Hello? Hello? For anyone looking for books to burn, I have two updates. First, we set up our phone service jammer. Second, we only have about 11 hours till we begin our takeover, so make sure you're ready. That is all. Looks like it's up to us. I mean, what are we gonna do? I've never fought anyone in my life. Well, let's think. I got nothing. Yeah, me neither. What the hell are you doing? We need to figure out ways to stop them. Dancing is how I think.
That's it. What? We'll defeat them with dancing. That's it. It's easy. Look, Danny can't dance or, or do anything athletic, really. So they're probably the same way. So if we challenge them to a dance competition, I'll easily defeat them and crush all their egos. Then hopefully they'll be normal after that. That plan is so crazy, it just might work. It's about the only thing I could think of. Looks like it's time to cut loose. Foot loose. <laughs> Next, the world. Um, excuse me. I'd like to rule the world myself. Wait, you can't. Why not? <laughs> because clearly I'm superior. I'm superior. I'm superior. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, I wouldn't be the I wouldn't have the world on fire! Oh, okay. Well, it's gonna happen sooner or later. Well, I really wanted to have a dance-off. I was gonna be a hero. It's alright. You're a good man. But you're no streetwise Hercules. Let's just give it another few minutes and we'll jump right in. The world is mine! Not if I have anything to dance about it. Bring it on! Oh, oh. Danny, I'm back. Well, let's, let's make some DTF episode. Yeah. What's uh, what's going on? The entire crew started acting like you. They drank from my EP cup, didn't they? But yeah, well, well co EP. But but yeah. Well, that's why, silly. I line that cup with my likeness. It's how I stay me. I'm going to do good today. Fix them. Oh, they'll probably sleep it off. Is that simple? We're just gonna. Oh, and then they'll expound the Danny through their pores in a thick, green, bloody mucus. Crap. Yeah. Except for that guy. He's dead. Damn it. Celeste. Yeah. What's up? Can you can you just put this guy with the others? Yeah. Sure. Well, that's taken care of. Now I can get back to my da da daring to jump off a cliff.
Snoop taken into custody, quoted as saying, I would if I could, bitch. In other news, there has been further development with the Sausage Strangler serial murder case. According to officials, a fifth body has been found in Austin Forest, bearing the same sausagular strangulation marks as the previous four victims. As with the other incidents, there are markings found on the ground near the body, the word Merc, spelled out with sticks. The FBI is profiling the killer as extremely intelligent and highly dangerous. Park officials are warning Austin residents to stay clear of the forest until further notice. Recently have died from strangulation by a sausage. Death by sausage. APD has identified a suspect and they are reportedly on the lookout for Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Guess what, guys? <laughs> Is anyone else missing their shoes? Because I can't find mine. You gotta be kidding me. D didn't you hear that? They literally just said that there was somebody out there in the forest strangling people with wieners. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Uh, I'm just explaining to the crew their next job. Job? Dang, most of these guys are volunteers. They haven't been trained yet. Why have they not been trained yet? Well... <laughs> That did happen, didn't it? Uh, regardless, I found a way to fix that hole in the ceiling. Holes. Regardless, I found a way to fix those holes in the ceilings. See, the station manager cut me some slack. He said if we went out and we filmed the TSTV promotional Halloween video, then he would cover one of the holes. But that doesn't, that doesn't cover the other one. Yeah, well, apparently one hole is, like, airtight in their policy. We have to go work slate at Troublemaker Studios for, like, eight hours today. Eight hours? I guess... Fine. I guess that's cool. Whatever. Alright. Awesome. Well, seeing as there's a family of raccoons living in the ceiling and it's already Halloween, we should probably get started. Here. You'll need these. Ale fajne kostumy! Ubiorę ten jak was zabijam! What? Why? Because it's Halloween. That's why. Alright guys, let's head out. I programmed the coordinates into all your phones so we can arrive... Promptly. Celeste, you're in charge. Benny, the studio is about 45 minutes away, so you'll drive. Okay. All right, everybody, hands in. A short by Dalton Allen on three. One, two, three. That's right. Drive all you want, Benny Bay. Fool! Robert Rodriguez only shoots on green screens. The studio was only 10 minutes away. You'll never know that we're heading towards the middle of nowhere. And when you don't return tomorrow, I will be the sole EP. Oh, 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 nothing. No, nothing. Just, just drive, Benny. Just drive. What now? All right, guys, this is how it's gonna go down. For those of you who don't know, I'm Celeste. Celeste, that's C-E-L-E-S, um, T-E. Now, the powers that be left me in charge, and we're gonna film this thing, and we're gonna film it good, all right? By the end of the day, I wanna see blisters on each and every single one of your fingers. Is that understood? Bene, that's what I like to hear. All right, let's get started. You, banana, go get the equipment from the car. All right. Uh, guys, where's the equipment? It should be there, next to Celeste's bag. Well, it's not. Neither is Celeste's bag. What? Where the f is my bag? Oh, wziąłem ją i wyrzuciłem. Daleko w lesie. Nigdy je nie znajdziesz. Not now, Mareshki! I need to find my bag! You know, it's got, it's got things in it! Personal things. Uh, plus, you know, we also need to find the equipment to do that commercial or whatever. Um, the, the banana's got a zoom. We could, we could get ambient noise for when we find the equipment. Really? Noise? Ambient sound? That's, that's brilliant. That's 
brilliant. That's fantastic. Although, now that you um, now that you mention it, it's it's a really good idea. So yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's let's have uh, the the banana and freaking Marashka guy are gonna go do sound. You and you look north. Dustin and I will look south. Yeah, is that and we'll just we'll just all meet back here in five hours. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's 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 do that. Let's do that. North is that way. Is this it? Are you sure this is Troublemaker Studios? This doesn't look like any studio I've seen. I mean, it doesn't even have a roof. Oh yeah, I'm sure. That'll be enough to cover that hole in the ceiling. Damn it, Mareshki, I'm trying to do sound here. Do you mind? Ty głupi Amerykaninie! Ty nawet nie wiesz, że dzisiaj jest twój ostatni dzień na tej ziemi! Ponieważ ja cię zabiję i wszystkich w DTF. Zanim wrócę do Polski. Listen, Mareshki, if you gotta go, you gotta go. You just can't do it here. Just go over there somewhere. I'm trying to get this done. I could have joined lovemakers. I, I would have. I mean, this is complete bullshit. Anything would be better than putting up with these shenanigans. Did, did you just... This is this is what the show's doing to us. I I used to not make puns like that. I was a respectable member of society. But look at me now. It's all right. We'll we'll get through this. I mean, we just we just gotta stick together. I mean, you, you remember when Vishnu didn't stick together? <laughs> Do it. Hey, Mareszki, what's up? Oh, cześć. Tylko idę po to, co schowałem, tą kamerę, żebym mógł dokumentować, jak zabijam tego banana. Okay, bye. All right, see ya. Hey, live long and prosper. And uh, uh, just avoid that poison ivy. Don't wipe with it. That, that shit stinks. I don't care what you say. That. That Polish bastard's great. Oh yeah. Have you ever have you ever wiped with poison ivy? <laughs> it's less, I don't see what the big deal is. We'd find it more easily if we just took a moment to relax and think clearly. I mean it's just a bag, right? You listen to me face. I need what's in that bag. I crave what's in that bag. If I don't get what's in that bag, I'm gonna lose my mind. Now you tell me, is it just a bag, mother No. Okay, good, because we need to get looking for it. You know, it's gonna be dark soon. Hmm. Merc. Now where do I know that from? Merc. Merc. Murky, Merc. Murky, Merc in the Furky Bunk. No, that's not right. All right, go hide. Okay. 100, 
Dobre. You know, he's coming for us! <laughs> I just know it. Who could he be? Well, process of elimination. I'm here. You guys are here. She's dead. Danny's... That will be 325, please. Damn it. Then that must mean... Everybody. No, just girls. <laughs> this explains so much. When I was a kid, all those people telling me those things. I, 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 can't, I can't live like this. That's it. He has the keys. So, oh, hello. Hello to you too. Mm. <laughs> Put them with the others. Then go. Didn't we leave 
two bodies in here? Just okay. Uh, station manager, sir. Um, Ian, your station manager, Ian, sir. Hey, hey, DTF guys. What's up? So the Marishka guys stopped killing everybody. You know, you opened your arms back up to him, let him back in the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. Sure. Um, yeah. Listen. Um, we lost all of our equipment, and if it's possible for us to maybe get more money to buy some more, that'd be great. Right. Uh. No, but, you know, your producers, Benny and Danny, they're real smart guys. You know, they could probably come up with a nice creative way to make some money. Yeah, we tried talking to them about that, but they just told us to crawl up out of their asses. Yeah, and I remember Danny mentioned something about uh, money from when the syndication rights were sold, so I figured maybe I'd take the reins and maybe we could take advantage of that, the dozens of dollars that we earned from that. Yeah, if you talk to your show's accountant about that, it could probably work. We have an accountant. Yes. Um, we're here with the show. Oh, Capital Cineform? Uh, uh, no, down to film. You must be mistaken. I'm the accountant for Capital Cineform. Uh, that that is our show. The name has changed down to film. We're here to withdraw the syndication money that you got. Oh, well, let me just uh, look that in my books. Oh, it appears that your account balance is zero. The funds are automatically being funneled into an off-floor account. account. Off-floor? Who would set that up? Why is it being transferred? Uh, I'm afraid I don't have that information. You'll have to check with the off-floor account. There's an off-floor accountant. Where can we find this guy? This guy has been on break for two hours. It's not even lunch. Let's just get out of here. Uh, let's just give him a couple more minutes. What, uh, what can I help you with? You're a douche. Why didn't you just help us out with the off-floor account thing earlier so we didn't have to stand outside for two hours? It's not my job. Yes, it is! But it wasn't at the time. Fine, fine. We're here now, so... <laughs> Who has our money? Oh, let's just have a look-see. I'm sorry. Slow computer. I have a rest of spirit. It's all the general enhancement ads. Oh, here we go. I am not at liberty to divulge that information to you. Even from us? What if we brought in Benny or Danny? They're the show's current executive producers. Oh, no, not even them. So there's no way for us to get our money? If the account holder gives you special permission, I can give you access to the account. And you won't tell us who that is? Correct. Okay. Okay? Yeah. We need to regroup with the crew and figure this out. Thanks for your help. Hey! Just keep in mind that whoever made the account would have at one point had to have the authority to do so. Unless we find out who created that account, we can't have our money. Well, why don't we just go back there and show that guy who's boss? I mean, at the end of the day, he is our accountant. Let's not jump the gun and alienate yet another entity at this station. We've got a bad enough rap it is, as it is, but with the growing death toll of volunteers. The account said that only someone with authority could have made the account in the first place, so why don't we just talk to the past showmen or see if they know anything? I like that idea. Who can we contact? Oh. Oh, many. There's Dalton, Jessica, Con... No, no, Connor's dead. Herbie, Kelly, uh, the list goes on, man. 
Okay, awesome. Well, let's get started. If only you were here, Connor. You know, to tell people how wrong they are and how right I am. Ja, 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 ja zwrócić ludzi ze śmierci. Not now, Mareszki. Damn. I'm trying to have a moment here. God. Here. Let's watch this short. Just like old times. Really? Really? That's great! Hey! Guys! Surgery went well! My grandmother's gonna be fine! <sighs> we'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Really? Because it seems to me that we've been missing the big picture here. What do you mean? Think about it! There exists this separate account that only one person knew about. And for how long only that one person and that accountant knows. I mean, seems to me that someone's been trying to sneak our money out from under us. Whoa, no, no, we're not about to start some sort of witch hunt. I think she's right. No, no, she's not right, okay? Everyone, just get back to work on contacting people. We'll have this figured out by the end of the day. And you don't stir up trouble. Jake. Yeah. Hold on the fort. I'm gonna go do something I should have done from the very beginning and find Benny and Danny. Wherever the hell they are. <sighs> I'm sick of waiting. That accountant's got all the answers. All I gotta do is shake them up. And I know just who can help me. What do you know? What do you know? More than you. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Bet you don't know who ZTF Calmholder is. Yes, I do. It's... No. I will not fall victim to your juvenile ways. You have no right to this information. I mean, sure, the existence of the account affects the show and its crew members, so its crew asking me for the information is completely reasonable. But I must do what I'm right. I must do what I'm bound to. It's what's right. Even though, I guess, what's morally right about the job and what's morally right and by laws of society are two completely different things. Curses! Do it! Tell them! Stick it to the man! They don't pay you enough anyway! But is it the right thing to do? Yes, it is the right thing. You should tell them. But, I, I don't know. I feel like it would weigh heavy on my conscience. Did somebody say conscience? Danny, where, where have you been? There's this problem that we need to... Shh! Yeah, don't worry about it. Benny and me got it covered. We're cooking and selling some high-profile stuff to generate money for the show. It's gonna work great. So get lost! You're too square for me to be seen with. I'm not square. Oh yeah? Care to, uh... purchase some maroonies? That's a brownie. To the untrained eye, yes. But the tinges of red around the corners indicate a secret ingredient. My own, specially made. No Damn it. it! You can't sell to your own crew! How do you expect to make money? It's fiscally irresponsible. You guys, there's this off-floor account with our syndication money in it. Do you know who it belongs to? Wait, a what? This is the first we've heard about that. Guys, I was just talking with the last EPs, and neither Jessica nor Dalton know anything about this. Nobody does. Y you're sure? That was everyone? Everyone. Not Connor. Guys, we figured it out. It's Connor. You're too late. Celeste shook the account man. What? Then she came and told us. 
All this time we've been remembering him as a leader when he was nothing but a thief. And now he's dead and we can't even access the account or money. Even in death he's screwing us over. Well, where are they now? Off to desecrate his grave. <laughs> what? No, they're not. We've got to stop her. Hey, they're right by the elevator. Hey, stop! No! Okay. What? She said no. Celeste and Connor were good friends. With this kind of betrayal, she won't be happy until she takes her revenge or we get all of our money. We'll get our money, okay? Mareshki, you can summon the dead, right? You say it all the time. I never said that. No, Mareshki, come on. Summon Connor Crew Spirit here right now, okay? And Jake, go get the account man and hurry. Oh, I can't find the maintenance guy. He's on break. Oh, I know why you're calling. You can't stop us. We know it was Connor. Okay, just just give us a little time. We're summoning Connor Crew Spirit. We're gonna get that money. Alright, come on, move it. Yeah, sure. You've got as long as this elevator holds out. <laughs> <laughs> and with this, I achieve inner peace. Oh, hey guys. Hey. Connor's dead? Nobody tells me. Were you busy? Well, no. I mean, I just spent the last five months meditating in an empty void to try to find fulfillment in my soul. But no, I guess not. The elevator. Get open, Kaden! Why won't it open? Get to it! Pressing the button and nothing's open. happening! <sighs> what? No, you've got it all wrong. I made that account back when the show was having its 100th episode. I hired a marching band as a big surprise. It was my grand gesture of love for the show. The only way to get it without ruining the surprise was to create the off-floor account in secret. But then I got so wrapped up in executive producing, I completely forgot about it. I spent every cent on that marching band. I didn't think I'd ever make it back. That's all it was. That's all it was, I swear. I believe you. I hereby relinquish. All funds back to DTF, and I want to cancel the off floor account, Rod. Okay, I mean, my name's not Rod, but. It's just Rod, just I command a thing. F***ing do it. Rod, 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 Rod. I said okay! Whoa! Whoa! It's my life, it's my life, it's a free country! Hey, I never saw my funeral. I trust it was, was decent, tasteful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good, good. Yeah, I guess everything in this world. Here you are. This is it, guys. Our hard-earned dozens. <clears throat> I believe you mean my hard-earned dozens? My services don't come cheap, you know. Wait, wait, no, no. Celeste, what is she doing? That's right. Fight each other, you f <laughs> Vegas, here I come. 
Hey, Betty, what are you? I don't care. Ian wants to see us in the war room. What for? I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. His hair is just so distracting. It's beautiful and like a freaking lion's mane plated in solid gold. Well, what am I supposed to do with 400 pounds of peanuts? Can't you just send somebody to pick them up? Well, no, I did order them, but you sent them to the wrong address. I don't care. I mean, I just want to share it with you. I don't you care. Gera. Benny Gera. That's G U R H I J K L M N O P. Well, yes, I'm positive that's how it's spelled. Danny, uh, Ian needs to see us in the war room. Hold on. What? I said Ian needs to see us in the war room. What? Ian needs to s s see us in the war room. Okay. Hey, I gotta go. Can I talk to you later, Grandma? Oh, you're not? Well, who am I talking to then? Frank? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. And, uh, Benny, on a, on a scale of from one to ten, one, you know, one being the least, ten being the worst, uh, how bad is this peanut allergy? Guys. You're still here? Do you know why I called this meeting today? Started the season off with 30 members, and now there are only five of you. Where did everybody go? Uh, dead, they all quit. Every single one of them. Gone. Not dead and lying on the floor of the editing room at all. So, you're telling me that out of 30 crew members, 25 of them quit, there are only five of you now with no equipment, and I have 25 police reports lying on my desk, and I don't have any answers. And there are two holes in the ceiling that I made. You're canceled. <gasps> Until one of those three things can be solved. Pack up all your stuff, get out by the end of the day, I never want to see any of you again. What are we gonna do? Well, we could always watch a short by Kelsey Hockmuller. That might help. Danny, we don't have time to watch a brilliant student short film. There is always time for student art! See guys, wasn't that relaxing? Guys? What if the station finds the volunteers' bodies? We could all go to jail. I don't think we have any other option. Sooner or later, they're gonna find those bodies. I, I mean, unless we, we cooperate. They may give us a medal. Whoa, guys, I know what you're thinking, but we can't do it. There's too much at stake. How, Danny? Most of them were accidents. And at most we would... We wouldn't be in any trouble at all. You were responsible for all but two of those deaths. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I may have poured the gas and lit the proverbial match, but you're the one who had them hide the bodies. You're an accessory. All of you. Well, who's Ian gonna believe, huh? There's four of us. Three. Three of us and one of you. Who hid the bodies, you guys? Oh, us. I mean, Danny. It was all Danny. I, I can't believe it. You can't do this to me. I'm the EP. Not for long. Let's go. If you guys want to talk to Ian, then you're going to have to go through me.
się powiednia. Jest prawdziwa. Well, there it is, clear as day. It's been him all along. Yeah. And look, he's been taking their shoes, too. Jeez, well, I'm glad you guys are telling me this. So after this, we'll be allowed to stay. Well, we still have to worry about the equipment repairs and the holes in the ceiling and uh, about this whole Danny situation. Um, we'll just call the cops. I mean, we'll all testify against him. Yeah, of course. Danny. All right, well, show me where he's keeping them. He's been keeping them in here. Well, at least someone's been using the space. What are you doing? They're out there telling Ian. Do you know what will happen if the cops find out you killed 23 people? You can't go back to prison. Remember all the pressure you got to run the book club? The volunteer service? Remember the dance rehearsals? I don't know about you. But I am never directing the Aryan Brotherhood in another production of The Color Purple. Come on! Get up! Stop it! You can do it! I believe in you! Yeah! Yeah! Here it is. Not today, bitches. Ian! Wait. They lied. It's too late, Danny. They already told me everything. Out of the way, Heinz. We already told him everything. No! Thanks, guys. Real mature. What the? Damn it! Danny, where are they? You think I did this? How could I? You're the one who has the keys. Look, I know you found a way, you prick. We're still calling the police. If we can't stay here, we can still get rid of you. That's what you think. You think we might be doing something wrong? I mean, we did hide them. I'm just saying. It seems a little harsh. Well, I don't care. Good riddance. I wonder how he moved them. It doesn't matter. Let's just go.
This one wasn't so bad the last time. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe they'll let me take these peanuts with me. I hope they won't think I'm assaulting them. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Ooh, better write that down. Big Hank will love this. A-S-A-L-T-I-N-G. I pokazał mi nowy świat i nie chciałem wrócić do innego świata. I dlatego. I dlatego. Tutaj teraz jestem. Jest. jest. Jak zawsze będzie tam.
Do you mind? I'm trying to meditate. Not good, not good, not good. I swear, my talent agent is not gonna fight. Mareski, what's up? Kropne rzeczy. Cały świat będzie zniszczony. Stracimy życie przed naszymi oczami. Mareski, you know I don't speak Polish. I only speak Japanese, English, Cantonese, Mandarin, Yiddish, Hebrew, and English. You gotta pick one of those, buddy. Oh, shit is going to get f***ed on! Oh, take it easy. C come on, let's come inside. Take your shoes off. Tell me everything. I trained for 12 years in my homeland of Poland. For this very event. I was told by my mentors that I would be sent to America, the land of hedonism and the Big Mac, to one day hopefully prevent the end of the world. The prophecy as described to me by the elders predicted that the end would come in shadow form, begotten through a dark rift in space. This rift would be fueled by lazy writing, terrible puns and lost parodies. Before I could stop it, I became distracted by the temptation of the American lifestyle and was eventually driven insane by a combination of my instilled connection with the spiritual world gained through training and my gender confusion. But with the help of your excellent American healthcare system and four days of therapy, I was me again and was on the guard waiting for the end. Unfortunately, I acted too late and the rift became too powerful. And indeed, the end is here. Shadow in human form has exited through the rift. They ransacked the TSTV building. And they're on the lookout for us. But what will we do? We must seek out the other members of Down to Fill. It has been prophesied in the event that these shadows escape. They must be returned by their begetters. Down to Film was the one that let them escape. It must be down to film that returns them. What if we fail? A dark world covered in shadow shall prevail. Living beings will be no more. Corpses will line the streets and chaos will reign forever. Deep I'm in. What do we do next? We must assemble the rest of the crew at once. Well, all right. Huh. So I guess this is hell. Oh, peanut. Hey, Danny. Hey, guys. So, what you doing? Playing poker. One in. Sure. So, excuse me, but, um, didn't I kill you? Like, all of you? Yeah. 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 Why are you here? I don't know. One minute we're dead, and the next minute we're here. It's not bad, though. Yeah. We're all gonna get back massages in a little while. The masseuse should be here in about an hour. Gives us time to catch the game. You mad about being dead? Eh, you win some, you lose some. Am I dead? Mm -hmm. Very. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Go away! Go away! I'm doing stuff! Important stuff! Three, two, one. I... I have a problem. 
We have no time for your problem. We have to save the world. Let's do it. You, what do you fear most? Well, well, I, 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 I want to turn the video to a uh, Hollywood, Hollywood video. You should fear me. Enjoy becoming one with the dark evil. <laughs> Pitiful mortal. You, Death Mother, seek out our greatest threat and let them know where their fate shall lie. Ah! <laughs> Fallen crew members in a place so horrid, words cannot describe it. How do you know that? I have a prophecy, Celeste. So I kicked that dog last week. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I, I guess I've just always been kind of a hateful person. But why do you think that is? Well, aside from the fact that I'm Irish, I guess I, I, I just never thought I was good enough. Well, I think you're good enough. We all do. I love you guys. <laughs> love! <laughs> well, if Danny isn't here, we, I don't think we really have a choice. I mean, will four of us work? Down the film! Your efforts are meaningless, for you alone cannot stop me. The world shall be ours! Now why you gotta crash there? I mean, this is a perfectly weak ceiling up here, and I mean, Jesus Christ. I know you're gonna have to clean that up. Me as an armed combat if you wish to defend what little hope there is left. But if you're just scared and you're a bunch of little rippy girlies, then just hide. Hide like we all know you will. You cannot escape us. The world can't escape us. We will consume it before your very eyes. And when there's nothing left, not a single thing to take from you, then you'll be introduced to the true meaning of pain. This form will work. Okay, well, I'm throwing in the towel. Same here. Me too. What? I, I, I can't believe this! Here we sit on the eve of battle, and you're just ready to give up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. We're about to face great odds with the chance of saving the entire world once and for all. Did Tyler Perry just give up? Did Tommy Wiseau give up? Did Nicolas Cage just give up? No! They strived against the odds, and they climbed to become the greatest visionaries and filmmakers of our generation. And what are we? We are down to film. We are the triumphant few. We can save this world. We are Tyler Perry. 
B are the Nick Cage. B can prevail. Yeah! 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 Yes! Yes! Yes, we can. Yeah! Yeah! Give in, or does this need to be difficult? Yes. We will stay and fight. So it shall be. Dog. Ah! Ah! Save the day. Guys, we're back. Dang, you're alive. Oh, I'm so sorry about everything. I love you guys. I don't want to do anything to hurt anyone ever again. Oh, we love you too, you goof. No. Oh. Oh. Hey guys. Well, I saw the ceilings fixed and the equipment's back and the members are back here, so you're not canceled. Yeah! yeah! Woo! Right. Woo! Well wait, we don't have any equipment. Oh. Hey! Look at this! Wow, this is enough equipment to last us forever. I wonder who did it. It doesn't matter. DTF is back, baby. Yeah! yeah! Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What is this? No. Oh, it was. It was all a dream. What? No, you passed out outside and we bandaged you up. You'll be fine, old pal. You'll be a member of DTF forever. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 Woo! You, forever! You, forever! Yes! Never leaving! Never! You will be with us forever! Ever! 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 Ever!